Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would share with you my Stella McCartney Falabella collection. Uh, now, for those who know me, they know that this is one, this has been a Lucy staple for many, many years. I have four bags that are all of the same line, which is a little bit crazy, but I'm hoping that you can see how they are all different from, from each other and have very different uses. I think I'm going to show you these in the order in which I acquired them. So first we have the traditional large black tote. Now this was my mom's originally and she was not getting as much use out of it as she had hoped for. And so she passed along to me because I did need a big bag. And you know what? This, I will say, this is one of my most worn bags. I really did love this. You can fit everything in it. And as you can see, this is before they started doing the pink lining. And so it has a sort of olive champagne -y color lining, which is fun. It makes it a little bit different. It also has a little mini pouch here that clips on. And sometimes I even take it off and you can reattach it at the end here. And then it can turn into a little wristlet, which is quite handy. You know, this bag has been through the ringer with me more than probably any other in my collection. You can't see it. This really looks outstanding considering, I mean, technically this is over 10 years old, but also, you know, I've traveled with this, I went to school with this, and you really don't see that wear. Granted, it's black, but the fabric has really held up. <laughs> you really can't see anything. Like, I, I really can't stress enough the stuff that this bag has seen, and it still looks as good as it does. The only problem I ever had with it was, let's see if I can even find it. Yeah, literally can't even find it. Basically, I had a problem because some of the sort of whip, whip stitch here, it had broken and it started to untwist, meaning that the chain started coming off. And I, oh yeah. Is this the one? Yes. And I took it into Nordstrom and they sent it away to New York, I guess. And they repaired it there and it came back good as new. You can't even see it. Um, I have a feeling, there it is. It doesn't look much different from the other corners. I have a feeling that was just because of the stress that was put on the bag, meaning all the stuff that I carried in it. You can fit a laptop in here. You can fit papers, water bottles, any sort of thing you need. Here's my laptop. It's the 11 incher from Mac. Apple. I'm gonna show you. It fits with very much room to spare. It's not even peeking out the top. My only complaint about it is that, you know, since it is a big bag, you are theoretically carrying around a lot of stuff. The chain makes it pretty heavy. And so with that in mind, and you're loading it with a bunch of other stuff, it does make it a little bit hard on your shoulder, especially with the chain material, you know, that just digs in a little bit harder. And I did know uh, when I was especially carting around a lot of stuff, even if it wasn't that much stuff, you know? But still, I, I did get a little bit irritated. That's my only complaint. Maybe you pack light, maybe you don't mind that and you've got like really great muscular shoulders that that doesn't happen to, but otherwise, I really can't recommend this enough. It goes with everything and uh, big fan. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so we've pretty much done a complete 180 to what is called the tiny Falabella tote. I bought this on Poshmark. It still had the tags from Neiman Marcus and I thought it was the bigger size. I thought it was this size. And if you can see here, I'm gonna to try to do a little magic trick. There we go. They look about the same. If you don't have anything in scale, you know, if you don't have like a person holding it or something like that, if you're if you're judging by pictures that way, very, very big difference. I was kind of disappointed when I got the tiny, but really I was getting it for the color. This is one of my favorite colors and I have a lot of stuff like this, but you know, 
it ended up it kind of fits like it does fit a decent amount i will say can't fit sunglasses but otherwise you know your little wallet keys phone it will all fit in there so it just depends what you're carrying it works really great evening it does have really great evening it works really well for <laughs> as an evening bag or a day bag looks cute out and about on the town my only problem with it is just trying to get it to hold its shape uh you know this is one of those things that when you're wearing it <laughs> it doesn't really do that depending on what's in it it just kind of slouches down but I very much prefer to hand hold it. I just think it's it's starling. And I have gotten a surprising amount of use out of it. So tiny tote, if you're someone who can deal with a tiny, uh, tiny bag, it's so cute. Like, look at this. <sighs> because that one was tiny, I wanted to get one that was a little bit bigger. And I got this. It looks bigger. But let me tell you, it's not that much bigger. This is when Stella McCartney did the candy collection. And it was a bunch of pastel colors. And instead of the regular metal hardware, there was this plastic hardware that was the same color. And we had these really lovely straps that I quite like. This one I bought used, actually. And I'm normally not a fan of buying used bags because I'm a little bit of... A perfectionist and I really don't like having wear uh, and if I do have wear I like it to be my own wear but I don't know I'm just weird like that this one had a really bad denim transfer on the back and the beautiful thing about Falabella bags is that with a little bit of water most of the stuff comes off so it was in way worse shape when I got it just put on a little water rub it a little bit and it comes right off I think this is so cute. This one in particular, I really like wearing as a crossbody because the strap is darn comfortable and it just looks cute with everything. This is one of those colors that I didn't think would go with much, but it goes with a lot more than you would think. My only complaint about it is it is a little bit of a baby bag. You might even be able to get away with a little bit more with the tiny tote. I just think it's very cute. And this is actually one of my most complimented bags. So when I started to think, yeah, I'm not just getting, I'm not getting that much use out of it. I'm reminded that people do really like it for some reason. And then I started wearing it a little bit more and I fell back in love with it. So they don't make this style anymore, but I'm sure there's a ton out there still. And uh, Stella McCartney actually encourages uh, buying from secondhand retailers because it's a lot more sustainable and also just why not there's a lot of brands who don't encourage that i can kind of see the reasoning why because there are so many fakes out there but i think that it is a little bit ridiculous to not dip into the pre-loved market you know people call it pre-loved i just say secondhand used whatever you want to call it last but not least this, if you couldn't tell, is a bit of a different sort of material. This is called holographic. And I saw someone wearing this originally. I tracked it down. And this was a Selfridges exclusive, at least at the time that I bought it. And what's funny about this is that there was a little bit of a price hike with Falabalas. And so now that, uh, at least for this size, and they're normally... A little bit over a thousand but for whatever reason I think full price this was about six hundred fifteen dollars I think uh, it's sometimes worth it to check out uh, Selfridges and some of the UK retailers if you live in the US because a lot of times you just kind of luck out on um, you know on the conversion rate however they do that I don't know but sometimes it's worth it to check it out whatever you're buying there, not just Stella McCartney. Sometimes it ends up being better than if you were to go to, if you were to go to Nordstrom per se. So yeah, Selfridge exclusive. This, this was kind of my crown jewel of my Falabalas, I suppose. You know that this was the one or the size that I wanted the second time. I kept trying and finally guys, we got here. I think she's beautiful. You know, it goes with so much, obviously, because it's white. 
Um, this one also, I am prone to just carrying it um, with my hand instead of the shoulder strap. It does have that same one that you can tuck away, the longer chain. But I do not, I have come to find that I'm not the biggest fan of the slouchy look. I think it's a lot more sophisticated holding it this way. Yeah, another fun fact. I was telling you how follow ballas clean up very well. I spilled coffee on this. Coffee. I yeeted my coffee onto my white Stella McCartney bag. And I almost died, you guys. I, I was really close to death because I, I, I full screened. I was in my car. Oh, not good. I can't even tell you where it happened because I wiped it off quickly, pretty quickly. That's just the magic of the Falabala material. So, it, you know, it's, I think it's been described as kind of a faux suede, but this wears a lot better than suede. If these bags were made of suede and they were in my possession, they would look like trash right now. So great material, <laughs> cannot recommend enough. This one does, this is kind of the, the right size for me. It fits everything, sunglasses, phone, wallet, everything is gonna fit in here. Quite a bit of leeway, as you can see. Very expandable. And I think they're fabulous. There's kind of a falabala for every occasion. As you can see, there are, I have them all in different colors, different shapes and sizes. And they have all been very used and very loved bags of mine. I know they're making them in a lot more shapes now, and this used to be the sort of standard shape and size of it. They're very cute, and a lot of times, you know, you can find them. You can get a good deal on them. They're just a great bag that I think you will feel really good using. You also always feel good that you know it's vegan and it's sustainable. I really can't recommend this enough. Uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys have in your Stella McCartney Falabella collection. If you're looking to buy one, if uh, you have any questions about it, all those sorts of things. If you haven't gotten the impression yet, I am indeed a very big fan of them. I can't recommend them enough. I think they are a little bit timeless. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this was informative maybe and um or at least helps you make up your mind of what you enjoy from the collection and i hope to see you the next time like comment subscribe all the things to do and yeah i will see you next time bye